Hello dear learners, today in this session we are going to analyze living organisms in water sample. Water bodies are home to many organisms. The productivity and tropic status of a water body depends on number and type of organisms micro as well as macro present in these water bodies. Water body with high density of phytoplankton or zooplankton per unit area is considered as a productive water body. Such water bodies contain large amount of nutrients and dissolved oxygen to support fairly large number of living organisms. Let us try to look for living organisms in different water samples to understand their productivity status. The material required for this session are water samples from different water bodies nearby you, beakers, measuring cylinders, few vials, test tubes, glass slides, cover glass, dropper, compound microscope, FAA mixture of formalin, acetic acid and ethanol in 5 is to 5 is to 90 ratio and disposable gloves. First you need to collect about a litter of water samples from nearby water bodies. Make sure that you perform this part of procedure under the supervision of teacher. Also wear disposable gloves while collecting water samples. In the laboratory transfer the water samples into separate measuring cylinder of 1 litre capacity. Label each water sample to indicate the site from which the water sample has been collected. Add about 5 ml of FAA to each sample in order to fix and preserve the organisms present in the collected samples. Now we will leave the samples undisturbed for 48 to 72 hours. After 2 to 3 days, you will observe concentrated sediment at the bottom with clean water above. Decant off the clear water, leaving sediment at the bottom. Transfer the sediment to a vial or a small test tube. Core and label each oil for future use.
with the help of a dropper, transfer a few drops of sediment liquid from a boil onto a watch glass. Dilute the sediment with distilled water if the sediment is highly concentrated. Now, with the help of a dropper, transfer a drop of water from the watch glass to the center of a glass slide. Place a cover slip on the water very gently to avoid the entry of any air bubbles. Blot the excess water using blotting paper. In the same way, prepare slides with each water sample. Observe each slide under microscope. First under lower magnification and then under higher magnification. Record the different type of organisms present in each water sample under different fields of microscope. Now what have we observed? You may find various organisms in the study area of the slide such as protozoans, algae, hydra, nematodes, arthropods, etc. These organisms will vary from the place of collection of water sample and also at the depth at which water sample is collected. Some of the common organisms are amoeba, paramecium, chlamydomonas, euglena, asterionella, spirogyra, navicula, coconis, cosmarium, chetoceros, water flea and hydra. Count the number of organisms in the visible area of microscope at high power. Make an observation table. If you cannot identify any organism, you can mark it as A. You can also take a photograph or draw a rough sketch so that it can be identified later using an identification key. You can observe living organisms even without fixing with FAA. You can take water drop from different depths in water sample so that planktons could be studied. Microorganisms studied by this method would be living and in their natural colors. The number and type of living organisms in the water sample at a given time will indicate the health status of that water body. This also gives an estimation of productivity and trophic status of a water body. Water body with high density of phytoplanktons or zooplanktons per unit area is a productive water body. The water analysis based on types and number of microorganisms present will also help us to find out whether the water body is polluted as some organisms are strong indicators of water pollution. For example, Escherichia coli, Enterobacter and other coliform bacteria. Now try to answer these questions. Why is FAA added after collecting water sample? What do living organisms tell about the trophic status or productivity of ecosystem of a water body? Give examples of two organisms which are indicator of pollution in a water body. Friends, I hope you have understood all the details well. Thank you.